Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. I'm Java Poxot and through this video we're gonna talk about the Anemone plugin and also how to create loops in Grasshopper. So guys, right now I'm gonna begin this session with an example. So firstly I search for polygon by this way like this to draw a hexagonal like this then as you can see by changing the specified value in segments we can control the number of the segments I specify 6 following that by using explode I give the polygon and convert it into 6 exploded segments then I search for point on curve I give the segments to add a point on each of the segments like this. Then I search for polyline in order to connect the created points on the curves like this and then right click on point actually curve and invert in order to close the polygon or curve actually. Then I'm gonna talk about loops. By default, we are not allowed to create the loops. I mean, we are not permitted to give the polyline to explode. And then repeating this function. So if I want to repeat this function, we have to make some copies from these commands like this, by this way. Check it out. But I want to use Anemone plugin for simplifying the repetition process or the iteration process in Grasshopper. So to do this, firstly, we search for a foot for a rhino like this. And then I search for the plugin Anemone. Let me find it. And then you should click on it and after having it downloaded the latest version watch this GHA file following that you can use click and drag and then drop it into grasshopper then you can check the panel or the tab of Anemone plugin in grasshopper then how do we can use it in this um, and I'm gonna use fast loop and then fast loop start through this example and video as you can see on the screen. Firstly, we add the fast loop start and fast loop end at the end and at the beginning of the description, like this. Then for the data input, we give the polygon, like this. Very well, then in the continuation, we give the polyline to the data of fast loop end, then connecting fast loop start to fast loop end, specifying the number of iterations. And if I wanted to keep these polygons in the center, we can right click on fast loop end and then click on record data, like this way. Then let us check it out here. We got a hexagonal that we can change it for example specifying five for the number of the segments and here we can control the number of iterations of exploding the segments creating the points and repeating this loop and controlling it by this slider as you can see and we can easily control curve point watch this it is cool but what are the functions of using loops for instance for instance we can move the specified lines moving them along z direction so we add move then giving the polylines to the geometry then the target z then specifying the factor or the movement factor 1.23 minimize it not 0.62 then give it to data check it out so easily by increasing the iterations we can control the number of these po polygons and also their positions 
and finally we can use loft for connecting them to each other and create a surface but before using loft I add merge then I give the first polygon and also the repeated ones and after merging them we loft them for creating the surface and then we can easily change the form of the surface controlling the levels or the number of the segments and also their positions and also the distance between the polylines or polygons actually then finally I search for the construct wrap. check it out then I give the created poly surface in order to deconstruct the faces, the six faces. Then by using launch box tools, we can create some panels on each of these faces. And also by specifying the values for U and V directions or divisions, we can control the number of the panels. Check it out. I adjust the values then panel frame in order to convert them to some frames then custom preview we assign a color to the frames I add color swatch for specifying a color like black making a copy and you can hold down alt and drag for making a copy and then a specifying sign for the color of the panels so guys i hope you enjoyed these instructions on animony plugin in grasshopper and in the following videos we'll talk about the applications and other capabilities of animony